dear colleagues and friends, my name is Maxim Belagrad and this is episode number 9 from our BG Dental Cases reviews. This time we will discuss with you interesting case, complex case that is related to multiple topics. It, there will be endodontic treatments, there will be retreatments, there will be tips and tricks related to MTA, there will be tips and tricks of post removal and uh, post endodontic restoration, preparation, rubbing them, and single crown case. So there are a lot of topics to be discussed. And uh, I would like to say that this time also we will do contest and uh, the prize will be free of charge participation in our online masterclass. The topic is clinical aspects of tooth preparation, porcelain veneers and class 3 carriers defects. To win this prize, please write down in comments your tips and tricks. How do you work with MTA? Okay, so MTA and how do you work with MTA? And the best comment will be granted with participation in that online masterclass. So let's go. Uh, let me show you the initial clinical uh, situation. You have, you can see now, a central incisor. In this case, patient was not happy with the uh, appearance of central incisor because central incisor was restored with composite material and it got discoloration and also patient had some discomfort in that tooth. So our task was to solve the problem of discomfort and also to provide restoration that will be fitted in terms of the color with his smile frame. Okay, here you can see sequence or some steps of endodontic treatment. You can see from the left side that uh, central incisor has pretty long um, metal post and also you can see some small small resorption area. Okay, I think that was uh, that was a reason why this tooth got discomfort. So this small uh, this uh, small resorption and also you see some MTA plaque but the most dramatic view you may you may get from palatal aspect you can see the huge crack line and uh, considering the fact that patient asked us just to solve his discomfort problem so and also he asked us can we put a new filling because he has this composite filling and he was pretty happy, not by color, but maybe by price. He asked us if we can do another composite filling as he had before. But considering the fact that we have this crack line, composite filling is one of the worst options that may be given to this patient. We have to use some rigid material that can reinforce the tooth. And in such a case, one of the best options is to use crowns metal-free ceramic bonded crowns. So we were insistive and we said, so we have to go for that treatment, otherwise you may lose your tooth in the nearest future. Actually, I was not able to, to understand for 100% that we were, will be able to save this tooth because the depth of this crack, crack line was pretty deep. And we give a trial for this tooth, okay? So we go, uh, considering the fact that, that uh, we have to go for single central restoration and that will be crown. We took picture with polarized filter. Polarized filter will help to your dental technician to determine color in more proper way. This case is pretty old one and uh, but since that case since that time we already used polarized filters but nowadays uh, we have got a really good protocol which is called eLab protocol by Sasha Hein. I would really suggest you uh, to get information about this protocol, you can go to YouTube channel of Sasha Hein and you can see eLab protocol, how does it work. It gives uh, confidence in such a cases when you have to integrate ceramic restorations into the color frame of patient's teeth. Okay, so we take picture with polarize, we take another picture with a normal shade guide, in this case we use Vita shade guide 
and even now you can see that A2 color is more closer to the, the two that we are going to restore and all this information is shared to dental technician so for him it will be easier then to define the proper color of ceramic material to give us single central crown okay so then we removed all this filling and we started to remove metal post this metal post was pretty pretty long and was pretty discomfortable for us because it was placed properly which means this post was placed up to a reefers area and to be able to remove this post utilizing uh, ultrasound you have to remove composite material around this post from coronal part and here is the tip we use really thin diamond burrs and we start to prep post itself we start to prep post around and by that means at the same time we are removing composite from around because if you will take the thicker burr and you will start to do the same in that case you will do you will remove some composite and also you will prep sound tooth structure in this case we have crack line the tooth is compromised we, we we have to preserve as much tooth structures as we can so in this case you have to say bye bye to some of your burrs but you will save a lot of sound tooth structures and then i just took the normal ultrasound tip that we use for calculus removal for dental hygiene and then i started to go with this ultrasound with no water with air spray from assistant side and from air water spray also from assistant side when i needed uh, to get this water so in few minutes uh, this metal post was removed and i continued with root canal uh, treatment okay Unfortunately, in this case, we were super limited with time, and I'm pretty, I'm pretty big fan of calcium hydroxide dressing in case when we have in, um, intra radicular resorptions, and when we have to work with MTA. In this case, we had to work with MTA because the apical size was was more than seventy, uh, was more than seventy. Actually, in this case, I prefer to use MTA. And according to our experience, the best results of MTA set we got after calcium hydroxide dressing. Personally, I'm not a big fan of calcium hydroxide. I'm more into single visit endodontic treatment. But in case when we have to go for MTA, I prefer um, calcium hydroxide because when you have inflammation, when you have resorption, when you have apical periodontitis, you will always have um, acid uh, pH okay acid pH but MTA is not so good to be set in uh, in acid pH we have to to get to make it neutralized okay but there is a tip that I would like to share with you there is a tip you clean root canal you irrigate root canal you make everything perfect then you just take your uh, sodium uh, calcium hydroxide sorry with your uh, hand plaguer and then you put this um, uh, calcium hydroxide exactly into the apical part to periodontium so you will see white spot in periodontium and calcium hydroxide itself has really high pH and then we will go with unmixed MTA literally we are using powder powder of the MTA not mixed how can we hold this powder uh, with instruments there is another tip that I would like to share with you you take your hand plagger you just put this hand plagger into distilled water a little bit or in anesthetic, in anesthetic and then you take your powder and then you put your powder into the root canal it will be not accurate all the root canal will be with this powder so there will be a mess of powder but it's easy to be fixed you will take a paper point, you will uh, cut this paper cone to make it thick or you may take a really thin um, endodontic micro brush and then you just take this, this uh, powder from the root canals, root canal walls and move it down, okay? So first portion is non-mixed MTA. Then afterwards 
uh, this unmixed MTA will get some moisture from periodontium and also from calcium hydroxide, so it will get started to be auto mixed. And then the second portion will be mixed, okay? I will take mixed MTA and then I'll put this MTA to the root canal with a plaguer, pack it, and then I take ultrasound, I will take my hand plaguer, put it inside, I will take my ultrasonic tip and take it to the hand plaguer and then I pack, 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 pack MTA so it will, it will get more stable, okay? It will be more compressed and it may set in fast way. By the way, if you have limited um, time approach, like in this case, uh, it's better to utilize gray MTA because gray MTA sets faster and especially when you will work with ultrasound, it may set even more faster. Within 10 minutes it will be done, okay? So then we provided uh, obturation, normal obturation, I just put some sealer, then I take my inject injection gun, uh, backfill, uh, warm vertical condensation of the gutta percha and in this case you can continue with uh, with um, restoration in this case we decided to go with fiber post because we didn't have enough ferrule this is the guideline for you for you by the way you can find this article in internet this is article by Didier Dici and since we have a really low ferrule we have to reinforce our restorative material with fiber post in that case. And the good news is that if you are using warm vertical condensation of the gutta percha, you can do it single visit. So the tip is, you just fill your root canal with gutta percha up to a orifice, and then you take hot plaguer, and then you just make a down pack removing gutta percha as much as you need space to place fiber post, okay? What happens uh, during these movements? Uh, sealer will, be, will disappear, it will evaporate from the walls and your gutta percha will got more pressure and condensation uh, for next, um, for next um, adhesive procedures. So you can etch or you use self-etch adhesive system, then you go with your uh, core build-up material, you put your fiber post, and then you can prep at the same visit. This is actually the core information about our Module 4 course. We have Module 4 hands-on course that is called From Endodontics to Restoration. It's just one day, only for seven people, super intensive, about primary endo, about retreatments, and about post endodontic rehabilitation. So everything we do by our hands. And my goal during this hands-on course is to give you as much clinical, didactic, step-by-step -step exercises that you can take immediately and implement in your daily basis. This is the philosophy of our BG Academy. If we have even slogan, BG Academy, we are hands-on. Okay, so then we continued and we prepared this tooth with Rubidam because we just finished endodontic treatment and I have my Rubidam in and uh, I'm pretty comfortable when I would do preparations with the Rubidam. In this case, I get my benefits having this Rubidam in. So we just went with our burr making the smooth preparation and it is controlled preparation, no bleeding, no soft tissues really good contrast, a lot of light, a lot of access, a lot of possibilities to manipulate with your burr all around. I would like to show you one more trick here, by the way. Uh, take a look from palato side, there is, a, there is a crack and I have to prep until I will get my finish line beyond the crack line. But the rubber dam is really coronal here and there is a risk that they will start to make a helicopter effect. So. To avoid this, you can put retraction cord or Teflon tape just to pack it to move your rubber dam slightly uh, apically and then you continue your preparation. This is the trick. Okay, so then we finish the preparation with rubber dam and definitely uh, the, the, one of the disadvantages to prep with rubber dam is that you cannot define the very um, precise 
position of your cervical finish line because of the rubber dam. So in this case, we just removed rubber dam, we put retraction cord, okay? We defined where will be our final position of finish line and then we go and take a look. Uh, it's really good to have electric motor and increasing handpiece to prep teeth, especially in that intracrivicular mode when you touch gingiva. If you touch gingiva with red diamond burr or, 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 or yellow one and uh, the speed will be less than 50 microns, gum will, will not bleed and you can take impression in this in the same um, at the same at the same time at the same day. So it's really good to have these instruments to get really smooth and clear preparation. And by the way, we can master your preps to the next level. Mastering tooth, tooth preparation, module one. If you want to prep like uh, pro, like god of preparation, welcome. Module one, mastering tooth preparations for veneers, for crowns, for overlays. All links to our module courses you may find in, uh, in, in description to this video. So feel free and we will be more than happy to host you in our training, uh, training center. Okay, so this is the final picture of, from this case. This is just straight after cementation. You have, that's why you, we have some small inflammation. These two seem to be a little bit grayish in comparison with adjacent teeth because adjacent teeth were isolated also and they got dehydration. But um, this um, metal free ceramic round was pretty good in terms of the, the shape and the, the color as adjacent, as adjacent tooth. Okay, so let's do summary. What we have learned during this BG Dental case review. We were discussing with you MTA, tips and tricks. By the way, don't forget, we have a contest. So type in comments, write in your comments. Uh, what are your tips and tricks to work with MTA? And the best one, we will uh, grant the free of charge participation in our online masterclass. So we learned some tips and tricks with MTA. We learn some tips and tricks about color de determination. We learn tips and tricks about post removal. We learn some tips and tricks about preparation with rubber dam and uh, post endodontic rehabilitations as well. So perfect. I was really happy to spend time with you to share with you some nice clinical informations and cases. We will see you next week with a new case. Don't forget, by the way, to, to follow us on our YouTube, to switch on notifications, because we have a lot of useful information, especially for you. Bye-bye.